Good afternoon, everyone. We begin 13 News at Noon with breaking news in the Delphi murders trial. Today, jurors saw graphic photos of the crime scene for the first time. Our senior investigative reporter Bob Siegel is live in Delphi right now. And Bob, we know you were in the courtroom just now as these images were shown in court. I was, Matthew. Really hard day here uh, inside the Carroll County Courthouse. Um, we knew this day would come. Um, uh, for justice to be served here, the jury needs to understand what exactly happened at the crime scene. And they uh, today got to see for the first time actual photographs of the crime scene, including bloody uh, footage, uh, pictures of the, of the victims. Abby Williams and Libby German, they saw pictures of their bodies in the woods. Um, and I'll, I'll share with you some of the information that you're about to hear is, is graphic. So just a warning about that. Um, the pictures of uh, Libby's body um, that the jurors saw, she was lying in the woods naked. Um, the jurors saw both of the girls' throats slit. They saw the blood, what the prosecutor described and warned a few days ago uh, of the gruesome crime scene that these jurors were going to be seeing. And I can tell you that some of the jurors were, were visibly shaken. One of the jurors put his head down at one point, put his hands on top of his head as he looked down, as some of the most graphic photos were shown. Another juror, she was seen repeatedly just taking big, deep breaths and, and adjusting herself in her seat as she was seeing these. These are very tough things for anyone to see. And as you can imagine, extremely difficult for the families to see. And the families of Abby and Libby were in the courtroom today. They put their heads down in their hands and they were crying as they saw these. They got to see the photos for the first time on Saturday. The, the video that you're seeing, I believe right now, is of the families as they were leaving court at the end of testimony Saturday. The prosecutor gave them a chance to preview the photos that the jury was gonna get to see. They were very emotional on Saturday as they left the courtroom, as you can imagine. So the, the testimony today, it came from Jason Page. He's the Indiana State Police crime scene investigator who processed the crime scene. He methodically walked jurors through three crime scene diagrams that he, he made up based on what he saw at the crime scene and 43 separate crime scene photos that he took. Before that, we heard testimony from Darren Giancola. He's a Carroll County Sheriff's detective, and he was the first law enforcement officer to see the girls' bodies at the crime scene. He called in the information. He described seeing a substantial amount of blood around both of the girls, and he uh, testified today to the jury. Both had large lacerations to their throats. Again, the jury got to see exactly what the investigators were talking about. Large screens set up in the courtroom where these photographs were shown to the jury. Very challenging, difficult uh, morning of testimony. Because of that, the judge decided to break early around 1130, just a, a few minutes ago. And the jurors will have a break until one o'clock when court will resume. We will be back in the courtroom to bring you more testimony, to tell you more about the evidence that the jurors are weighing through as uh, they see uh, the evidence on a very, very tough day of testimony here in Delphi. Matthew, back to you. Bob Siegel reporting live for us in Delphi. Thanks, Bob. And of course, Bob and our Emily Longnecker will have complete coverage all week long. We're also breaking down testimony every weeknight at 10 o'clock and then at 9 a.m. after we re-air Sunrise on WTHR+. Plus. Of course, you can find our Delphi debrief on our streaming app through Apple TV, Amazon Fire Stick, and Roku. Well, a new trial is now underway for a man accused of murdering several of his family members. Raymond Charles III is charged with six counts of murder for a shooting in 2021. He was tried for the murders earlier this year, but the judge declared a mistrial over something that was said during witness testimony. 
Childs allegedly murdered his parents, Raymond and Kizzy Childs, his 13-year-old sister, Rita, and his 18-year-old brother, Elijah, and Elijah's girlfriend, Kiara Hawkins, and their son, who was just days away from being born. Child's younger brother was the only survivor of the shooting. He now faces a maximum sentence of life in prison without parole if convicted. Well, right now, an investigation is underway after a person was found dead in a crash on the northeast side this morning. It happened around 3 a.m. on Benford Boulevard and Delmar Road. That's near 52nd Street. Fire crews tell 13 News they found a car covered in flames. No other information on the crash has been <coughs> excuse me, has been shared by IFD. We do know that Metro Police is now taking over this investigation. Well, right now, Metro Police are investigating two deadly shootings. Both happened Saturday night on the city's near east side. In the first one, officers were called after gunshots were reported near 21st in Drexel. When police arrived, they found a man who had been shot. He died at the scene. Police arrived shortly after an Amazon driver noticed the body in the street. Yeah, I don't know the people, but it impacted me last night when I seen it. It just broke my heart, you know. I just felt bad, was crying, because I know the family. I know how they feel, I really do. A father who lives in the neighborhood tells us that the area is undergoing some positive changes, including a new daycare, event center, and more. He says things like this remind him just how hard it is to keep his children safe. And just minutes later, IMPD were called to another deadly shooting just a few blocks away. Metro police were called to a home on Oxford Street near Washington and rural around 1030 Saturday night. When officers arrived, they found a man with gunshot wounds in critical condition. He later died at the hospital. Police believe the shooting may have followed a dispute inside the home. All right, Matthew, at this hour here, we're talking about sunshine, talking about a dry and warmer than uh, average uh, afternoon for us here. We're almost at 70, in fact, above 70 degrees in some locations here. You probably have noticed a bit more haze in the sky, and that is something that we're going to have here for the next couple of days. Just a real stagnant air mass right now. Not a whole lot of wind, but it is shifting directions today from the southwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour, and it should pick up in pace a little bit. Teams up with the sunshine, puts these temperatures in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees this afternoon here. We'll call it breezy uh, and warm. 65 already in Richmond, 72 in Peru, 71 in Lafayette. The air quality in the first part of the days, the last couple of days, has been unhealthy for sensitive groups, and that is a trend that, again, will continue because of how stagnant the air is. Also harvest season, a lot of these particulates late at night, early in the morning, settle toward the surface. Look at all of the sunshine, however. We got two fronts we're timing out. We'll knock our temperatures down a couple of days. All ahead in your seven day forecast. We'll see you then, Sean. Well, the luck of the Irish in the International Airport. Starting next spring, you'll be able to catch a flight straight to Ireland. State and local leaders made the announcement this morning. Aer Lingus will offer nonstop flights four times a week starting in May to Dublin, Ireland. The flights will offer dual class seats, including 16 business class seats. Your vacation begins once you board our aircraft. You will enjoy a warm Irish welcome from our people at all stages of your journey from check-in and especially on board. Our customers like to say you've arrived in Ireland before you even left the gate. And Indy Airport Authority anticipates this new air service bringing in more than $50 million to the state's economy. Tickets start at $4.99. We have a link for you at WTHR.com if you would like to buy one.